Welcome everybody to another Thursday and Geeks of the Week. I'm Mario. This week I talk about Comic Con and review some comics. Now on to the video. Comic Con officially starts today and it's basically geek prom. Thus, I am just in formal attire. And Steph is going to be the belle of the ball in all her costumes, but I'm especially looking forward to her Leia costume from Journey into Mystery. Even though she was having this nervous breakdown before she left about finishing all her costumes, I know she's going to have fun. It feels like for cosplayers, everything leading up to the event is stressful because you want to finish all the details in your costume. And after the event, you just crash and you're trying to recover, but during it, you always seem to have a lot of fun. I know Steph is going to work at DC Booth and that's very exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing all her coverage. As for Luluko, she could not be with us this week because she was having technical difficulties, but she managed to post an audio video on her Tumblr page. So if you want to see the Geeks of the Week last episode, check out the link below. Nikki, thank you for your generous gift. That is so nice of you. Now let's see what you wrote. Oh, that is kind of sweet. Oh, you drew a picture. Oh! What is that? What? Oh. Ah. Now back to Comic Con. I was coming up with some plans on how to crash it because I don't have tickets. One of them was to dress up as Batman and rush security and say, You don't understand, I'm Batman, I have to be in there. But then I realized how many people are going to dress as Batman. That's really not going to work. Another one was to put the Vulcan nerf pitch on some geeks and swipe their tickets. But that's kind of mean and I don't want to do that either. Another one was to make people feel sorry for me. I was going to stand outside, hold my iPod to the air, and play Peter Gabriel's In Your Eyes. But then I realized some people might just think I'm cosplaying the movie say anything. So that's really not going to work. Sadly, I'm just going to have to come with the terms that I'm not going to go. I'm just going to have to stay home and watch coverage on G4. If you can't go like me, definitely watch it. If you don't have that network, go to their website because they always have excellent cover con coverage and they always upload their videos. So now on to the comic book reviews. This week I'll be reviewing Before Watchmen as Vendidious Issue 1, written by Len Mee and R by Jay Lee. I did not buy it, a friend let me read it, and in the interest of full disclosure, I find the idea of Before Watchmen to be both creatively cheap and lazy. So what was the issue about? It's basically Adrian Vitti, the Osman Didius, retelling the story of his upbringing. We get to see his childhood all the way until he decides to become a superhero. I was left unimpressed. I found the character hollow and still a cheap imitation of the original. Although the artwork is excellent, it's not enough for me to recommend this comic. I would rather die and be reincarnated as Dr. Manhattan's Speedo as all these prequels continuing. What infuriates me the most is this could be someone's introduction to Watchmen and I really hope that's not the case. For all these prequels out there, you could save your money and for one fourth of the price, get the original. I ultimately rate this comic 2 out of 5 stars. Next, I'll be reviewing Atomic Robo Volume 1, Defining Scientists of Tesla Dine, written by Brian Levinger and art by Scott Wigner. And this comic is about a robot, Atomic Robo, built in the 1920s by Nikola Tesla. This particular arc is set in the present day where Robo has built his own organization called Tesladyne, which is a group of scientists who do experiments and go on all sorts of missions. Also in the story, he has to fight his arch nemesis, Baron Heinrich von Hessling, who is a Nazi whose brain has been put into a robot. Also, it has sprinkled stories of Robo's past and there's some short stories in the back. This comic has it all. Action, comedy, giant ants, robot mummies, science? What else can you ask for? Brian is a funny, entertaining, smart writer. Scott really enhances the story with his excellent artwork. Normally book blurbs can either be awesome or generic, but let me share this one with you that perfectly sums up Atomic Rebel. If underneath Iron Man's armor there beat the heart of Indiana Jones, you may get a sense of what makes up Atomic Rebel. I couldn't say it better myself. This is a fun, entertaining book. If you like action and adventure stories, this is definitely the comic for you. It's kid friendly and adults will love it too. Ultimately, I rate this comic 5 out of 5 stars and highly recommend it. So that this is me this week. Let me quickly mention the deadline for auditions is this Tuesday, so put in your last minute entries. It's been a lot of fun watching everybody's videos. Anyways, if you have any questions or remarks for me, put them on the box below. As always, like and subscribe. Check out the other more awesome, spectacular geeks of the week. If you're at Comic Con, wave hello to Steph, and I will catch you all next week. Why does this only work for John Cusack?